Thanksgiving break just ended and it's back to work. But I'm excited because this week I'm gonna go to all the Christmas festivities. Later on, I'm gonna see the Christmas lights at the vessel, but let's get through the work day first. As you can see, I use a lot of Python, such as creating new variables, exploratory analyses, regression, and more. I kicked up my data analytics journey through an applied data science certificate, taking online courses, as well as practicing with Kaggle datasets. If you need more support in jumpstarting your data career, consider a bootcamp partnered with Microsoft, Springboard. Imagine gaining practical skills remotely and graduating in just six months with a job guarantee. Having an experienced mentor and a coach to guide you through building practical skills is key to landing a data analytics job. And they use the tools that I currently use day to day in my job. If you're like me, you'll want to check out the data to support this program. And the reviews. Graduate with a portfolio that showcases your abilities to hiring managers that you can discuss in interviews. By watching this video, you get $1,000 off the course with my code data by day. You'll learn the skills that I use in my day to day. Next is dinner, and then I'll walk over to the vessel to see some Christmas lights. The Capital One Cafe has a lot of space, and they were even giving out ornaments. Even the honey lavender latte was good. This morning I'm working on writing my performance review, setting so it's due this week, and I'm writing all the accomplishments that I've done this year. This is one of the ways I keep track of my tasks. In Jira, I also use Google Sheets. Came back from the cafe and now I'll work here for the afternoon. I'll continue documenting my Python code as I'm gonna use it for a template for our analyses. Later on, I'll be in charge of teaching another analyst how to use this template for our analyses. I'm headed over to Ryan Park so I can see the Christmas lights. It was my first holiday market. As a cheese lover, I had to get the cheese wheel pasta. Okay, I made it to the tree. I was excited for the tree lighting. There were even ice skating performances. Look at it sparkle and shine. My friend and I unintentionally matched with earmuffs. Free holiday swag from Bank of America. Looking forward to wearing my light up beanie out. I've been inspired to make my own matcha lattes to keep me warm through this winter. On Wednesdays, I usually walk to work. And this time, I passed by Macy's window displays. You can tell I'm kind of cold. For breakfast, we had rainbow bagels. I continued making the template for the analyses we're applying to all clients. Had meetings and had lunch. I came home to wear a fifth layer. Now I'm gonna go to the Columbus Circle Holiday Market. There were a lot of snacks and cute knickknacks for you to buy at the Columbus Circle Holiday Market. I tempted to buy these dog candles, but instead I got more cheese wheel pasta. Can you tell I'm a cheese lover? Even though it was a different vendor, Thank you. I would say both are pretty good. You have to try no chewing allowed. It's chocolate that melts in your mouth. Sipping on hot chocolate on the way to Rockefeller. So I didn't make it to the tree lighting because it was way too crowded. I'm working at home today. I wrapped up the ROI analysis template that I discussed yesterday, and now I'm gonna work in DBT 
to make the code more efficient for my advanced analytics team. Here's an example of how I use Jinja within DBT to run macros. What it does is that it runs through each of the variables and creates a flag for it, so you don't have to write multiple SQL lines. Turn this into that, and DBT will do it for you. It's 6 o'clock on a Thursday, so I'm headed to yoga, hosted by my building. It's really nice to just unwind and get to stretch after a long work day. Back at the cafe, still working in DVT. Now I'm headed to lunch. I went to eat by myself at Chodanko. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Cape Town. Love the seafood pancakes and the unique Perilla Sea Tofu Stew. They make their tofu in-house. I have my leftovers and it's raining. In order to track all the changes I make in DBT, I use Git. We use this so when multiple analysts are working on the same code, we can control the versions and track the changes made. Like how Google Docs has a version history function. First, you'll use the terminal to go into the folder and activate the environment. Usually, you can have a data engineer help you set up your environment. Then you'll pull the existing code and create a branch. It's like you're working off a branch of a growing tree. Make your changes and add a message to say what you changed. And then you push your code and all the files you're adding to the rest of the code. What happens next is that a data engineer will review your code and make sure that the merge request is not breaking their pipelines. So my code's still running, so I'm going to go for a run first and come back and see if it's ready finished my run and my code ran. Off to the Union Square Holiday Market. Went home to put on some festive holiday nails. The next morning I went to go see the Saks Fifth Avenue window displays. If you're in New York, I definitely recommend checking it out. I'll be back to see the famous light show. Next, I went to this hotel to see the beautiful Christmas decorations. I'm back at home, and now I'm going to crochet a wooble with my friend. I'm making a rainbow dinosaur. You may have seen this on your Instagram. It's a cute DIY crochet kit for beginners. Definitely a fun activity. Ice skating in New York City definitely hits different. It's a rainy Sunday morning and I'm going to study. I've been at my job for over two years now. And when you're at a job, you generally get pretty focused and specialized in the work that you do. I feel like I'm losing some of the data science methods that I've learned over time. So I need to continue brushing up on my interview skills so that when I am applying for a new job, I will be ready. I need to continue updating my job application materials and brushing up on my interview skills. I've built this study habit and I'll share in an upcoming video tips on how to build the study routine for data positions. I'll start with updating my resume. I'm headed to dinner with a friend at Ole, a Korean restaurant in K-Town. Delicious food, great company, and a Christmas present to end the week.